Hello everyone, welcome back to another watch. And today I am going to do four box openings. Yes, it has been far, far too long. I have an August, September, October, and November watch to open up. But I figured this would be a good time to come back and actually do some box openings. I know it has been far, far too long since I've done anything on the watch channel and it kind of bums me out, but I just was burned out on it. So make sure if you like the content, if you like seeing the watches I'm getting, if you like my channel in general, make sure you like and subscribe and do all that fun jazz to help me keep motivated on the channel. So the first watch we're gonna open up here, I have too much stuff on the table, is my Watch Gang Black Membership watch from August. Now, if you don't know what Watch Gang is, it is a monthly subscription company. There is different tier levels, the original tier, the black tier, and the platinum tier. And sometimes they go all out and get crazy with the Centinum tier, which is like $1,000 a month. That I have never done. I've actually done platinum tier level watches, and the only level I subscribe to currently is the black tier level. As a matter of fact, I am wearing a platinum tier level watch now. It is a Laco JU52. I've had this one for a long time, and it still looks great. I love this watch. It's one of the watches that gets worn constantly from me. Now, if you go to their site, there's, of course, sign-up specials and discounts and bundle discounts if you sign up for two or three months at a time, and it'll save you some money. I also have a link below that if you use my link, it helps me earn some wheel spin points. It'll get you guys some wheel spin points, too, I believe, when you click through that link, and it looks like we have a sterling. So... The black tier level I was grandfathered in, and all of my watches are at $100 currently. Now, if you sign up today, I believe it is $150 for the same tier level, but they give you like a half off your first month, so you could actually save a little bit of money there. Now, this one is not too bad of a looking sterling. Just take a quick look at it, nice and slow. Everyone harasses me that I move the watch around too much. Honestly, part of that is me trying to keep the reflection off of the watch so we can get a better look at it. Let's see if we can zoom in on this one a little bit. Pretty cool multi-level layered dial. I actually really like the strap. Feels like it's got leather on the back and then like one of that, some of that heavy sail cloth on the front. Not too bad of a looking piece from Sterling. Now, I don't know too much about this one. It's crazy. The last few times I've done box openings, people at work have wanted all of the watches that I've opened up. So I've sold them before I've done any sort of follow-up review. It looks like the model number on that one is possibly a 4029-2 or dot two. So that is the Sterling. We'll leave that one open. That was my August watch. Now let's go ahead and take a look at um, September is this one here. Now let me tell you this box is way heavier than the Sterling. So did we get a really nice box and a mediocre watch? Who knows? Now, I It's funny because a lot of my videos tend to get more views around this time of year. I think a lot of people look at Watch Gang as potentially a good Christmas present for a loved one. And to be honest, a lot of the watches I would have been super excited had I have gotten them for Christmas presents when I was younger or even today. Now, here's another one. I actually recognize Sterling Swan and Edgar London. Never heard of this one. So let's take a look. Pretty nice box. Oop. As all the warranty cards fall out. Yeah. 
Ooh, I like the subdials. I mean, I'm sure that's cloud, kind of clouds on the subdials. Weirdly, it almost looks like camouflage. It's a nice bracelet on this one. Double deployant clasp. Got their name etched there. Nice case back. There's a lot going on on this one, but I do actually really like the look of that. Try and get you a little closer into the dial. I actually like where the date window is. It's just kind of in between actual indices, which is a little different. And I kind of like this, this blocky action on the case there. Or block design on the case. Have you guys heard of Swan and Edgar? What do you think of that one? All right. Let's take a look at my next one. So next one we have from October. Now, like I said, unfortunately, for a while I was really good at doing watches really consistently and I was doing a watch of the day which some people liked some people didn't but it showed what I was wearing every day do you guys miss the watch of the day do you want me to bring it back or do you want me to just do box openings and follow-up reviews by that I mean get my butt in gear and actually do some follow-up reviews <laughs> or Fina all right so this is another one that I don't recognize now that's one of people's biggest complaints with Watch Gang is it's a bunch of no-name brands. Now some brands I recognize, I've gotten some really nice pieces and some of the, the more or less known brands, I've gotten some pieces that I actually really liked and wear all the time. Now this one, I really like the case shape on this. I like that red dial. You know, we've got a combination of brushed and polished on the case and bezel. I used to not like the tapered down bracelets that much, but I've actually really started to like it. That's a nice bracelet on this one. I really like this Orfina. I like that design. You know what? I should have been throwing these all on wrists so we could kind of get a look at them. I know people make fun of me because I always say, that's how it looks on my roughly seven inch wrist, which, you know, I think at least gives you an idea on what it would look like if your wrist was similar size to mine. I really like that one. I think that one is gonna get sized and be a keeper for me. That just has a nice, clean look to it. What do you guys think of this Orfina? Looks like the model number on that one is an OF-0002-44. Don't know anything about the company, so if I keep this one, definitely have to do a follow-up review. And if you guys want me to do follow-up reviews on the others, make sure you let me know in the comments below. All right, we're down to one, and this is the watch I received this month. Let's go ahead and open as I'm dropping stuff. Problem with doing this many box openings, I got stuff everywhere. All right. Oh. <laughs> I got a boulder. Now, honestly, I love boulder watches. So my daily beater watch that gets so much abuse is a boulder. It was a Watch King watch from six probably going on seven years ago that's how long i've been doing this and it has taken so much abuse and still to me looks so good it's awesome i did break something on it so you might have to stay tuned and maybe i'll do a a, a quick hey this is what broke on my boulder but what broke is insignificant to the watch and the watch still looks great all right, so this boulder, 
I actually think I've had a Venture or maybe still have a Venture. Now the Venture for me was a little bit on the smaller side for the case, but there's something about these Boulder watches that are just simple and clean and just seem to hold up to a lot of abuse. Now mine, my the one I'm talking about is the Explorer GMT2 and Man, the amount of abuse that thing has taken and it has, which is too hard to put this st <laughs> strap on from behind the camera here, but the amount of abuse mine has taken and still looks incredible is shocking. You know, a lot of those black watches, a lot of times the case will just get hammered and you start to lose that finish. Mine still looks excellent. All right, so I am I am actually out of the four that I got today. I'm pretty excited about the Orfina and the Boulder. I know it's a simple, clean watch, but I know the quality that is in these Boulder watches. What do you guys think of that Boulder? What do you think of the Orfina? And then we have the Swan and Edgar. And then we still have the Sterling. So we have four different watches, kind of four completely, not completely different styles. Wow, my camera doesn't want to focus, guys. Sorry about that. Not four completely different styles. I would say the this, this Sterling and the Swan and Edgar kind of remind me of each other. Obviously, this has a nicer bracelet. That one's got a strap. So there's some, there's some similarities and differences, but... You know, the busyness on the dials themselves are kind of similar to me. Whereas the case design, the case design and styling on this one is just a little bit cleaner. I like that there's red in the crown. I really like the look of this one. Now, on all of these, all four are all quartz watches. Now, Oh my gosh, guys, I am blind. So in the video, I said all four of the watches were um, quartz watches. And clearly this Venture is an automatic. Now I think my other Boulder Venture was a quartz watch and I just assumed this one was as well. So I needed to edit that real quick that I actually did receive one automatic out of the four watches that we opened up today. There's a lot of times where I've gotten automatic or mechanical watches on the watch gang black tier level, but this is it. I mean, it's the luck of the draw on what you get. You don't really get to pick the watch. You might kind of get to do some input on the style that you like, but you, you get what you get. And I find it fun and entertaining to get surprised by new watches that I haven't seen before. And it's definitely not for everybody. So if you're thinking about getting it as a gift for somebody, you know, maybe they'll like the watches. Maybe they won't. I think if you did like a two or a three, a three month period, you're going to get something that you actually think is really cool. And you really dig. If you're just starting out in watch collecting, um, it opens your eyes to a lot of different styles and designs. Well, thanks for sticking with me, guys. This was a little bit longer video. I hope you got kind of a, a glimpse at what I got for the past four months. And yeah, it's been that long since I've done something. But I hope you leave a comment. Tell me you want to see more and like and subscribe. As always, guys, thanks for watching.